What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon. Nope. <laughs> Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. And uh, I apologize, it's been about two weeks since my last upload, or at least my last Wi-Fi battle. Um, I've just had some personal stuff come up. <laughs> I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but anyway guys, we are back in this bitch like a venereal disease. And uh, kicking us off here, we have an Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon NU tier match against my boy Kevin, aka Sharpedo43. Looking at his team, he's got a really scary balanced looking team. He's got the Braviary, the Hitmontop, Sneasel, which is probably one of the biggest threats in NU, honestly. I had to kind of tailor my team around Sneasel and Embor. Apparently, those two are like ridiculous in this tier. Um, he also has the Whimsicott, the Delphox, and the Seismitoad. While looking at my team, I've got basically, <laughs> I built this team in like five minutes um, after looking at the uh, NU viability rankings. And I kind of wanted to try out Vileplume because it actually got a new toy in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon in Strength Sap. Although, it, I don't think I actually used Strength Sap at all this battle, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out in the future. Anyway, look at my team. We've got the Imbor, not Imbor, <laughs> fuck. We have the Incineroar, rather. <laughs> we have a Vileplume, my boy Scrafty, one of my favorite mons from 5th Gen. We also have my boy Steelix, we have a Vivalon, and a Slowbro, so... This battle was really fun, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Incineroar, the Incineroar, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Braviary, rocking the hot nurse outfit. <laughs> and I'm actually rocking the uh, the Kamo'o armor, which is fucking expensive as hell. <laughs> and I don't like the shorts. They're too damn short. But anyway, you guys aren't here for that. You're here for the battle. Anyway, on the first turn, I'm rocking the uh, pretty standard Incinero AV Incineroar set, and uh, I'm just going to go for the fake out here on the first turn just to get some chip damage and get the hell out of here, as I kind of figured on the first turn he would probably just go for the U-turn anyway. So I'm going to bring out my boy Paul here, except I renamed him Herbert, because I feel like Herbert fits a slow bro better than Paul. Sorry, Hayden, and uh, my opponent's going to get the hell out of here. He brings out his Sneasel now. This thing is a massive threat. Holy shit. I was terrified of the freaking Choice Banded Pursuit, so I'm actually going to make a ballsy play here staying in. As he does go for the knockoff, I knew I could take one, and uh, I'm just going to try to cripple this thing. Thank God I did not miss my Thunder Wave there. That would have sucked ass. And uh, I kind of figured maybe he was Choice, um, as most Sneasel that I've run across lately have been Choice Banded. So I kind of figured I didn't really have to worry about the Pursuit, and uh, he's actually just going to swap as I swap myself and uh, get some HP recovery back with the Regenerator. Now here, I'm going to bring out my Boulder Boner, <laughs> and uh, or I'm going to whip out my Boulder Boner here, as my opponent doesn't want anything to do with my Boner. He's going to go ahead and U-turn out there, and uh, that's basically going to give me free rocks, as my opponent is now going to bring out his Seismitoad. And this kind of sucks for me, um, because I knew going into this battle that I kind of needed him to not get up Stealth Rocks, for my Incineroar to shine, um, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to keep him from doing that. He knows I have to switch, and honestly Steelix couldn't do anything to this thing even if I tried. Um, so he is going to unfortunately be able to get up rocks as I have to swap and conserve my Steelix for that Braviary. I'm going to bring out Blowjobs here, and uh, I named this thing Blowjobs because it has the Flyenium Z Hurricane, and uh, I just figured it does a good job of, uh, of blowing stuff. So. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Quiver Dance because I kind of figured he would swap as he does bring out his Sneasel once again. And I kind of figured I could probably take an Ice Shard if I absolutely had to. And uh, I don't really want to waste my Vivalon here <laughs> because he does have the Stealth Rocks up. So I do end up living an Ice Shard on 53 HP. I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz and that is going to kill off the Sneasel, which is amazing for me because this thing is such a damn threat. Like I said before, I think Sneasel and Embor are two of like the main threats in this tier. So, definitely something to watch out for. Now here my opponent is going to bring out this uh, dancing motherfucker here, the uh, Hitmontop. I named him on Carlton because it looks like he's doing the Carlton. <laughs> but uh, here he actually shows me something interesting. He goes for Bullet Punch. I had no idea this thing even got Bullet Punch. I knew it got Mock Punch, but I don't know. I just kind of picture Hitmontop more of a kicker Pokemon, but anyway. He does go for the Bullet Punch there. That's unfortunately going to kill off my Vivalon. I was going for the Flying MZ. Uh, supersonic Sky Strike, but obviously I didn't get it off. And uh, I'm bring out Herbert here as he's going to go out into Minesweeper, the uh, 
the Whimsicott as I go for a Psy Shock here that's going to do some decent chip damage, but I'm going to have to get the hell out of here because I do not want to take a Giga Drain or whatever the hell this thing wants to do if it's offensive. I think actually most people run like Pixie Plate nowadays on the Whimsicott. But yeah, Whimsicott is a damn annoying mon. This thing is a piece of shit. Anyway, he's going to go for the Leech Seed here as I bring out Boulder Boner once again. And uh, here I'm basically free to just go for either Stone Edge on... I believe Stone Edge hits the majority of his team neutrally. Um, or just go for Heavy Slam here. And I think what I actually do, I think I actually pull a double here if I'm not mistaken. Ah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull a double here. And uh, I'm going to bring out Vile Poon, which is my Vile Plume here. And uh, as my opponent's going to go for the sub, honestly not a big deal because there's not a hell of a lot he can really do to me. And uh, the Sludge Bomb basically hits the majority of his team uh, neutrally, so Sludge Bomb is my play of choice here. As he's just going to go for a Moon Blast, and honestly I resist that. It's not going to do much. Unfortunately for me though, he does get the 50% special attack drop, which does kind of suck, but honestly... Vileplume is not really here to do damage, although in this case it kind of helps because he's four times weak to poison, but yeah, so I kind of figured here, I may have made a misplay, and I kind of thought, oh wait, no, I think maybe it's a little bit later in the battle, anyway, man, I just had this damn battle and I'm already forgetting shit, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, anyway, he's gonna go for the U-turn here, as I believe I just go straight for the Sludge Bomb again, if I'm not mistaken, so... Here he's going to bring out Fred, which is this damn Hitmontop again. <laughs> this thing is annoying as all hell. No, I go for Sleep Powder actually predicting the swap. Okay. All right. It's coming back to me, guys. I promise. <laughs> uh, just Daddy's a little special, all right? <laughs> anyway. Um, so I'm going to put this damn Hitmontop to sleep. And here I'm just going to bring out my Incineroar. Unfortunately, I'm going to take some Stealth Rocks damage. Man, this battle is so long. Holy shit. 34 turns. <laughs> it's so hard to narrate these like long ass battles because I feel like I have to talk fast to like sync up with the action on the screen <laughs> and uh, I'm just not used to doing these I like back in the day I used to do like live commentary and stuff and that was just easy but this you have to actually like do shit but anyway unfortunately for me he wakes up on the second turn of course knowing my fucking luck and he goes for mock punch that actually nearly kills me I'm just gonna go for a uh, u-turn here and get the hell out of here and basically just have my Incineroar in the back for Death Fodder essentially is what he's what he is now because now once he comes in he's uh, gonna die to Stealth Rocks so I'm gonna bring out my boy Herbert once again as my opponent is going to bring out his Whimsicott and this thing is a fucking monster I hate oh I hate Whimsicott so much these things are so annoying especially if they have like the uh, the Encore <laughs> bullshit oh my god they're so annoying but uh, anyway having this thing paralyzed definitely helps I mean it's not the greatest thing in the world because I mean it does have prankster but it helps slowing this this little bastard down <laughs> and uh, here I'm just gonna bring out vile poon once again as he does get fully paralyzed basically I just figured he can't really do anything to my vile plume so I figured that was my best play here and uh, I believe here in the battle is where he decides to let this thing go and uh, I'm just gonna go for a sludge bomb it is four times super effective that is a dead Whimsicott, so two really annoying Mons, his Sneasel and his Whimsicott are now down, and that is awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to get some Black Sludge recovery as he's going to bring out Navy Seal, good play. Obviously I have to swap out now, not wanting to take the Brave Bird. And basically, I'm just trying to get this thing low with the Stealth Rocks, because he keeps bringing it in, and it's weak to rocks. It takes 25% every time, and uh, here I'm just going to go ahead and sack off my Incineroar. And basically just kind of see what he wanted to go for as I see he wants to go for U-turn So that is totally fine with me. I'm just gonna bring back out Herbert and uh, I can pretty much take a U-turn for days as that is going to be what he goes for and I didn't want to go for Scald because I didn't want him to go into Seismitoad and basically eat that for free <laughs> I wanted if he went into Seismitoad I wanted him to at least take a hit and that is exactly what he does, so I go for Psy Shock instead, and it does a decent amount of chip damage, not gonna lie. I think he's probably more specially defensive than physically defensive, so that did some decent chip, plus I have no <laughs> investment in special attack. So it's not gonna be a hard hit, but it's, like I said, it's chip damage. So here I'm gonna bring out Vilepoon, because again, this thing really can't touch me. Like, even if it has Ice Beam or whatever, like some of them do, uh, I don't really see that doing a hell of a lot. 
So he's gonna go for Scald as a bring in Vileplume. Obviously, that's not gonna do shit to me. <laughs> and uh, he basically has to fear the Giga Drain now. Now, here I was really puzzled. He didn't swap. I went for Sludge Bomb, expecting him to swap. <laughs> and uh, he d he stays in. He goes for Scald. And for whatever, I I don't know why he didn't swap, but. He, he got me, I guess, because <laughs> that Sludge Bomb's not going to do shit. He resists it being a part ground type, and uh, he gets the damn burn on my Vile Bloom, which sucks, because I kind of need to conserve this thing. Um, I, I don't know, but of course, on the second turn, <laughs> I went for Giga Drain, thinking that maybe he would stay in, and uh, he swaps on this turn, so I, fuck, I don't know. He got me there, <laughs> but uh, he's actually going to bring out the Hitmontop. And that Giga Drain actually does a dick load of damage, holy shit. It's a two hit KO from the range he was at. And uh, I'm just gonna stay in here and finish him off, honestly, Giggity. And uh, yeah, he's gonna go for Bullet Punch here. Being part Poison type, it's not gonna do. Oh wait, no, Poison doesn't resist that. Yeah, anyway, he, uh, <laughs> he actually gets a crit on me, which sucks. And uh, the useless fucking effect spore kicks in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kill him off here. That was... <laughs> Honestly, when, when that happened in the battle, I just giggled because the effect spore just kicked in at literally the most inopportune time. Literally when it didn't matter at all. <laughs> but, uh, them's the breaks, it happens. And, uh, my opponent is now going to bring out Firefox, and this thing is a damn monster. <laughs> I honestly had no idea how the hell I was going to deal with this thing, so... I'm going to swap out back into Herbert because it's the best thing that I have for this thing, as he's going to set up a damn Calm Mind. So as if things weren't bad enough, he's going to now be at plus one special attack and plus one special defense. So now this thing is even scarier. <laughs> and uh, I kind of figured that with my small investment into special defense, I should be able to take this. And guys, I live on fucking two HP. Hell yes, Herbert. And I'm able to go for the uh, Thunder Wave here. I probably, I don't know. I probably maybe would have been better off going for damage and going for scald but he actually gets fully paralyzed so holy shit shit is actually going in my favor that like never happens for me i'm actually able to go for a scald there as he gets fully paralyzed and it's going to get some uh, decent chip damage off but herbert is going to go down but herbert shall not be forgotten he definitely did a dicking to my opponent's team and so here i'm going to bring out my boy foreskin and uh <laughs> I'm going to go for the knockoff. I honestly thought that he was going to be choice scarfed and even like if he was choice scarfed, even with the paralysis, he would have outsped me and I probably would have had to take like uh, well, grass knot, I guess, but uh, apparently he's not choice scarfed and uh, I go for the knockoff that is going to kill him. His next mon is going to be Navy seal. Now here is kind of a, another ballsy play for me. He could have easily gone for brave bird, um, which uh, I, I don't know if that would have helped him more or if it would have hurt him more at this point in the battle. But anyway, he's just going to go for U-turn. I knew I could take that. So I basically called his bluff. He's going to bring out the uh, Seismitoad here as I just go for a Drain Punch. And I know I can two-hit KO this thing, no problem. I'm at plus one because of Moxie. So yeah, Scrafty is going to come through here at the end. And uh, here I can just outspeed this thing, go for knockoff and kill him. And then, of course, his last mon will be the Braviary, so he's going to be able to kill off my Scrafty, but that is totally okay, because I can bring out my next mon and deal with the Braviary, so I'm going to knock off his leftovers, get another Moxie boost. Not that it matters, because he's going to kill me off with a superpower, but I have my boy Boulder Boner in the back at almost full HP, and he's at minus one after this superpower, so your boy has got the game in the bag. So, funny thing about this team... I actually had two battles before this and they went terribly. Oh my god, they were disgusting. Like, I made terrible plays and uh, I just. <laughs> the battles just weren't even close. So, I'm honestly just happy that I got a decent battle with this team. <laughs> I was honestly ready to throw this team away, but uh, I wanted to give it one more shot and this battle happened. So, this was a damn good battle. My man Kevin, we will definitely battle again in the future. I think this is battle number three or four for us, but uh, every single time I battled this guy, all of our battles have been amazing. So I look forward to our next one, man, and uh, I'll put a link to Kevin's channel in the description below as he also uploads Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. So definitely go check him out, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I love you. Peace out.